Uh, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be taking you through um, how we can be able to schedule a Teams uh, meeting. In my previous video, I did uh, show you how you can be able to install Microsoft Teams in your learning management system as the administrator. So, welcome. Uh, to schedule a Teams meeting in your LMS, go to your course and my course here is modify and i would like to schedule a zo uh, uh, a teams meeting on the 5th of on the week of 5th october to 11th october so i'm going to schedule uh, that teams meeting here so for me to be able to do that i'll have to do a forum you can use any any avenue or any activity that has got um, text editing on it you can do it on a forum you can do it on um, a page you can as well do it even in a book or even in a lesson so let me do it on a forum so i'm going to create a forum right now and uh, there it is so creating my forum so here is my forum i'm going to name it a live session uh, live session uh, let me call it a uh, Microsoft uh, teams uh, live session yes yeah, so that's how it's gonna be uh, okay that's it so the description I'll say uh, click on the teams uh, teams link uh, to join session okay okay having done that that's okay for me uh, all right so I'm going to save that forum save and display let me add a new discussion topic on that let me still say uh, Microsoft uh, Teams uh, live session all right t is gonna be capital there okay uh here is where now i'm going to put the ms team so with the uh, the lms that i am using i am the super admin user i'm the admin user so i uh i had to ensure that i have installed it uh, like i said or like i showed you on my previous video the teams um uh, is incorporated there so what i'm going to do um this is where i'm going to generate first of all the link to my team's meeting and then uh we are going to have a session so let me click on teams it's going to take a while um uh, it will ask you to sign into your microsoft teams account so i have an account so i'm going to sign in uh, there's a pop-up window here here it is asking me to sign in okay uh i have i had already signed in that is why it just went and uh, signed uh, me in directly i was signing directly because i had already uh signed in so create meeting link so let's say today is on the uh, date 8 uh 8th of october uh, it's already 3 p.m so i can schedule a class for 3 p.m and it will go up to four what four p.m. Yeah, that's one hour. That's okay for me. And that's it. So I click create. Oh, I've not created the title. So what are we discussing about? Running uh, management uh, system. Okay. So that is what we'll be looking at in our lesson so what i'm going to do i'm going to create uh, the link is being generated so correct so here already i have uh, i have the link posted so uh let me add the link now to my discussion forum so you can see how it's here is our link to our uh uh microsoft teams uh meeting so but one thing we realize is that it doesn't really look cute it's ugly so what we can do uh we can hyperlink it um i can choose to hyperlink it with a picture or a text i can choose to say uh join 
uh, Teams uh, meeting. So uh, I'll create this as a hyperlink. So let me copy this first of the link. I copy it. And then after that, I will embed it here as a hyperlink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a link here. And then I say, I'm going to paste it here. And I say, create link. So basically now, uh, we can just have this statement. Let me uh, give it a bolder caption, medium. So that it's uh, appear bigger like that. We don't have color, so join Teams meeting. So already, um, uh, instead of having this, so I can choose to delete all that, so that uh, only this link remains. So if I'm going to save that, uh, what will happen is that if I click on that, let me post to forum, and then I'll come back, and then we edit, so that, okay, uh, you have always 30 minutes to edit and make the necessary changes in a learning management system. Otherwise, uh, the forum will be posted, and then uh, there will be no room again for editing. So let me uh, go back and see uh, what we have. So here it is. So let me try to click on that link, join Teams meeting. Okay. Uh, join conversation. You see we are in Microsoft Teams. It's uh, Here it is. And uh, there we are. So you can see already uh, it has taken me to the Teams um, uh, window. So I can choose to join now. Uh, I can choose to set up my microphone. Oh, my webcam is here. Let me see if I can see myself. I've turned it on. Uh, let me see whether it can share the microphone with uh, uh, my... I'm using the OBS Studio, so I don't know whether it will be able to... Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be... Okay, let me come here to mic setting, audio and camera. Yeah, it should be able to pick it up. So I don't know why it's not able, but I think it's because it cannot be able to uh, share let me see if it's going to pick up not really not really so all right uh, it doesn't matter so uh what the important thing is i have the option of joining now let me try to join and see what i'm going to see in my microsoft teams and uh, yes here we are here we are so um we have the options of joining let me cancel so here we are i i can just go to the participants I can invite quite a number of people. So you see already the Teams meeting has been uh, made. So, okay. So I'm going to leave. I'll leave the Zoom meeting, the other Teams meeting, sorry. Uh, let me go back to my learning management system. So this is how you can actually um, create a Teams meeting. And you can choose to hyperlink. Uh, you see that? I didn't click here. We just clicked on that. And uh, it happened. So... Uh, well, I tried something the other day. I tried to, uh, let me edit it. Let me click on the edit. I tried to actually um, hyperlink it with an, an image. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let me copy the link once again. And I'm going to insert an image. I had an image, a logo of Microsoft Teams. Uh, so let me see. Image. Uh, let me browse for the image. It is actually on my desktop, so it shouldn't take me long to find. So on my desktop, I have the Teams logo here. Uh, Teams logo, correct. I got it. I'm going to open it and uh, upload it. So here it is. You can see it's it's actually very big, so I'm going to reduce its size here. So instead of 800, let me use uh, 450. Uh, okay. You can see it has uh, drastically reduced, but not, we are not quite there. So if I reduce the option here, the corresponding value also automatically reduces. So let me take it to 350. Uh, we're almost there. Uh, I'm going to take it lastly to 250. I think that should work. Beautiful. That That is okay. Okay, let me just... Okay, I'm tempted to go further. Let me take 200. Yeah, that's okay. So now what I'm going to do, um, I might want it to appear in the middle, in the middle, not at the bottom. So let me save the image. Oh, I need to give, what did I need to do? Uh, uh, describe the image for someone who cannot see. Okay, so I'll just say uh, Teams logo. 
uh, Teams uh, logo. That should be okay. I'm going to save the image. Yep, so here we are. I got the image. So I'm going now to uh, hyperlink my image. Good, good. So uh, I'm going to do again. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to select my link, my image, and then I'm going to hyperlink it. Yes, click on it, open on a new, create link. And that should be fine. That should be just great. All right, all right, all right, all right. So you can see it's already a link. So if I'm going to click on it, let's see what happens. It has opened on a new tab, correct. You can see it has opened on a new window and uh, Teams is here and yes, so we're good. So that is how you can uh, schedule a Teams meeting in your learning management uh, system. So thank you very much. Uh, watch this channel for more videos uh, for now. Have a good day.